Hello guys, welcome back to Elm Creek. This is episode 4 in the survival gameplay. So, what are we gonna do today? Okie dokie. So last episode we have been working on some bills. Right now, we're just gonna start loading those bills. Because I hope that they have already fermented. Uh, oh no, wait. Uh, maybe we should first get our stuff into our farm. Because right now it's all on the side of the road and it doesn't really look good. So in the meantime I'm speeding up time because at least one night has to pass before the bills will be fermented well enough to be turned into silage instead of grass. Or just rotten grass. Well technically it's not rotten. Well you know what I mean. Anyway. Okay so it's raining now anyway so that's a good thing. That I have time to actually get my stuff into a sort of parking lot. Because right now I own my own little farm. That is just cool. It just helps me putting my stuff away because at field 18 you just have no option at all to sort of store it sort of neatly. It's always, you know, just parked somewhere where it's gonna be an issue and it just doesn't look tidy. And I love things to look tidy and be organized, so... Okay, in the meantime I'm just forwarding the speed. So it's getting dark now. That's perfect. Although it's hard enough to see where I'm going, so thanks to those lights anyway. At least then I can see if I'm still on the sort of concrete path, and I am. So right now the builder is in place. Now we're gonna put the mowers next to it and by that they will be added away as well. Stored away nice and clean. That's it, but they're not clean. I know I'm not gonna clean them anytime soon yet. So I'm just gonna store them away. Period. <laughs> Alright. So let's pick them up. Oh wait. I got my front loader on first. I need to de-attach that one. I'll just drop it right there for a minute and then I'll just attach the front mower in place. Okie dokie. Right there. Attach. Perfect. And then the other mower goes on the back. Attach. And now I'll just get the stuff back. We're gonna park it next to the baler. That seems like a very nice spot for my stuff to park right now. Whoops. A little oversteering here. No issue. No harm done there. It's just grass and trees, but as long as you don't hit the trees you're good. So, right there. There we go. Just park the front mower first. And then I have to select the right tool, which is not this one, but it is this one. There we go. Perfect. Back it up and park the other mower. And in the meantime, morning has come. So it's getting light again. And I am thinking that we might as well start mowing our new little fields. Because with this farm came three little grass fields and they are ready for harvest. So I will just put the front mower back on and we're just gonna start do some billing again. Because every bale of grass silage that I can make right now is gonna make me some very welcome money. And I love money because I need lots of it to build my farm. Well, you need to invest before you can harvest, right? So that's the same with farming. You need to invest so you can have uh, uh, fields to grow stuff on. Which you can sell later on and make you money. Same with animals. You have to buy animals first. Because before they will produce something and you can sell that stuff to make money. As well as the excess animals, of course. So. These three fields are very nicely aligned. 
in the future I'll just get rid of the roads that intersect them so that they just technically become one big field. For now I'll just do it like this, works perfectly fine, no harm done. And these funny turns, I don't like rounded corners at all but I guess I'll just have to live with them. Okay, so that was the mowing. It's already done. Alright, yo. There we go. Perfect. So, now we're gonna store the mowers away. Like origi originally planned. And get the baler attached to my tractor to turn this delicious fresh grass into grass silage bales. Or actually just wrapped grass bales because they're not turning instantly into silage anymore like they did before in uh, I think it was Farming Simulator 2019 but in this 22 version that is really not part of the game so alright back this thing up and hook the baler onto my tractor there we go so let's start baling 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 again and I really don't mind billing, but in case some of you do, I won't get you bored and I'll fast forward it again. That's so full, so fast that it's full already because I almost had half a bill left in there, so that saves you time on the first one. Okie dokie, get on with it. There we are, the last lane, and we just have a bill right in time. That's perfect. Okay, let's just get rid of the last piles of grass that are left on this field. It just happened to be there once you have reached a hundred percent of your baler and you did not back them up uh, far enough or you started driving too soon after the bale has been moved to the back for wrapping. So yeah, just picking up those little piles of grass right now. And no, it's not gonna make me a new bale, but well, it looks tidier. And then the next time that one will make a bill. So, just 12%, but that's not too bad. Turn this thing off and get it back into its parking spot. There we go. Love the trees though. It's October right now, you can really tell by the trees. I don't really have a favorite season, do you? If you do, let me know in the comments because for me, it really doesn't matter. I like winter. Yeah, call me crazy. I like the snow, I like the freezing. And then it's spring. I love the spring. The smells, flowers, everything turning green again. and Birds going crazy. And then summer. Well, everybody loves summer. Uh, I don't think I have to explain you why I like summer. For the same reasons as everybody else does. But like autumn as well, because all those trees start to color nicely and I love the colors. Colors of Indian summer and stuff, you know. It also has some certain smell to it. Love that smell too. So Okay, so now the baler is parked again. It took me a little more effort than usual because I have parked the front mower pretty tight next to it. But that's no big deal. Just back it up, slowly take your time and you'll be fine, technically. Well, you always are. Uh, okay, almost always. So now we're gonna stack the bills that we have built before, like yesterday in the former episode. Uh, they should be fermented by now. Let's get my front loader back on. Because I still left it right here. Okie dokie. So. Let's see, are they actually really fermented all the way? Oh. Uh, no. 
It's like, no. It's, okay, it's not even close. <laughs> okay. I think we're just gonna leave them there for like, uh, as long as they need, but for now, they're not, they're not silage, they're just grass still. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what are we gonna do in the meantime? Let's see, there's already lots of contracts waiting for me. I can pick one or two. Every euro I'm gonna earn is one euro. And I can use any one of them. Mm -hmm. So right now it's October. Wheat and barley can be planted. Lots of stuff that can be harvested, but I cannot aff afford a harvester, so that is too bad, but that's just the way it is. And remember, in the survival mode you are not allowed to lease stuff. It's not only that you're not allowed, but you don't even have the option, you see? There's no button at the bottom that says lease stuff, lease equipment. So we have to do everything by stuff that we own, and we don't own a harvester, so no harvesting contracts for me yet. I'll just go do some fertilizing uh, contracts. Hope they're not gonna take me too much of this stuff. Alright, so let's get to the shop where Miss Pereira is. Get it filled up and get going. Earn a little money. 72 okay so here we are at the shop and as I told you there is my little sprayer Ta -da! let's off get on to my tractor and there's my two uh, things of fertilizer with some herbicide still in my sprayer so I just have to throw it out refill the sprayer with fertilizer and then we have to get going Okay, so we did three contracts in fertilizing and I think that's going to be the last time I ever did this because I think it's a waste of <laughs> time and money, I don't know, but I think that using, like the fact that you have to buy fertilizer is going to cost you tons of money and in the end you're not going to earn too much of it, so. Anyway, for now, let's hook on this front loader again. Um, so yeah, there is stuff on sale, but that's a roller, no cultivator. If it would have been a cultivator, that would have been more interesting, but it's just a roller and it's not even a grass roller, so I can't use it. So, sheep might be interesting. Oh, those, those barns really aren't that expensive. Now think about it. Let's get back to the farm first. Here we are. I think we're gonna build a sheep barn. Like, why not? They're not expensive at all. Like those barns. And then we can... Uh, I have grass. I got a mower. I got a baler. And that's pretty much everything they need. So... Why not? Like... That's really not much money. Like, not too much. And I got tons of uh, space here to put anything down. So sheep is technically the only type of animal I can do right now because for chickens you need grain and for grain you need to have a harvester again and I don't have that. So I'll go with sheep and this seems to be a perfect spot for a sheep barn. There we go. Awesome. And it's funny though that when you place the barn you hear the sound of Bleh! because there's no sheep in there. I don't know, but I never heard a barn do Bleh! Did you? So there's already water in the troughs. That's the good thing about the barns, you don't have to water them. And yeah, there's water expenses anyways, but you don't have to keep an eye on the water. You just have to make sure that they have food. Okay, so getting these sheep delivered is gonna cost me a little bit too much money, so I think I'll just go get a um, trailer. That one. 
it fits 13 sheep in there and in the future I will also need it to sell sheep when they start to reproduce so I might as well get a trailer right now it doesn't really matter if I do it right now or in the future and it will save me money for delivery fees and stuff as well as selling them then you have to pay the delivery fee again so here we are at the animal dealer let's get this trailer filled up and I'm not gonna back it up all the way there because it's not gonna look funny anyways because this trailer is way too low to fit on top of that bridge but the idea is fun so at least I can open it and now let's find the ship there are the ship we have four collars and braids so which one are we gonna pick today mm, I think we're just gonna do this one just because I love the black face with the white wall it just looked cute so we have 13 of these and the trailer is nicely filled up as you can see I never seen sheep this patient. Have you tried this in real life? Like having a trailer full of sheep and letting the gate open? If you try, please make a video of it and share it with me, okay? I'd like to laugh too someday. Thanks. Thanks for thinking about me. Okay, anyway. So I am trying to find the fastest way back to the farm. And that is just across the map. There we are. Love the fast forward option in the video editor because otherwise it's gonna be way too long and boring for you guys. Okay, so uh, here is the Animal Pa logo. So we park our trailer right there. And I think that should be far enough. And then we can open the thing. And again, they are such good sheep. They just wait until I tell them to get out. I love them. I want to have that sheep in real life, really. There they are, my sheep, my real first 13 sheep. Oh my gosh. I hope they're gonna have a, a very happy and productive life. Alright guys, that will be it for today. Tomorrow we'll start feeding them. Thanks, bye bye.